Hello, this is James. The Rampage of the Forest mini box is coming out soon, and everybody is all a flutter about the new super rares and ultra rares that are going to change the meta. But there are many rares and normals that we want to not miss as well. So here is my top 10 list of rares and normal cards from the Rampage of the Forest mini box. Number 10 is Alpa Karibo. Alpa Caribou. Alpa Caribou. It's a, it's a rare rarity, R rarity, and it's number 10 because it powers up Naturia decks. So it's a uh, 7 star, 2 tribute monster, and when it's in attack position, attack position, wing beast, insect, and plant type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. While in defense position, Defense position, wing beast, insect, and plant type monsters you control cannot be targeted by or destroyed by card effects. So that beefs up your Naturas and lets them uh, tank a mirror wall or a, a, potentially a wall of disruption and stay in the game. And it combos with Naturia Pineapple. If all face of monsters you can all face of monsters you control are treated as plant type. So that makes Alpa Karibu, Alpa Karibu, that makes the effect of this monster apply to itself. Super neat. Number nine, Duck Dummy. Um, mostly I think that this, is, this has potential as a farming card, but it's a Gemini monster, and when you summon it, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Neither player can target this card with card effects. And the attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct attacks. Um, this is not a monster that we want, this is a monster that we want to give to our opponent as a gift with a Super Alloy Beast Raptinius combo. So what you do is you polymerize summon your Super Alloy Beast, you send Duck Dummy to the graveyard, then you give and take, you summon Duck Dummy to your opponent's side of the field. And, since Super Alloy Beast converts Duck Dummy to a Gemini monster, you can now attack your opponent directly with your Super Alloy Beast. Now, I know that Super Alloy Beast is a super rare, but this is a cool combo, but that's why it's only number 9. Number 8, Gravity Lash. Very simple, quick play spell. Target one face-up monster on the field, it loses attack equal to its defense until the end of the turn. It is a rare rarity, and it lets you get easy kills on boss monsters. Suddenly, Ancient Gear Golem is zero attack. Suddenly, Blue Eyes has only 500 attack. Number seven. Arrive Arrivals. Arrival Rivals. Arrival Rivals, that's it. Rare rarity, and it makes aliens more powerful. It's a quick play spell, and in the battle phase, you can normal summon one monster. You can only activate one Arrive Arrivals per turn. So, in the, during the battle phase, if your opponent is attacking your alien monster, you can quick play spell, and then you can summon another alien, and suddenly the... suddenly the... A counters count for twice as much. And also, it's just a cheap version of Double Summon. That only works in the battle phase, but still, I'm sure it will have much use. Number six, Mirror Mail. Now, uh, so this wasn't super obvious, but it's a trap card, and when a face-up monster you control is targeted for an attack, its attack becomes equal to that of the attacking target. This is good for your searcher monsters, such as Resonance Insect. It's another rare card, it's not on the list, it's just, it combos with Mirror Mail. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can search an insect monster. So, if you have your resonance insect face up in attack position, your opponent attacks into it, you activate mirror mail, resonance insect kills their monster, gets killed itself, and lets you use its effect of searching an insect monster. Pretty cool. Number five, spike shield with chain. Target one face up monster on the field, equip this card to that target. It gains 500 attack. If the equipped monster attacks or is attacked while in defense position, it gains defense 
equal to its attack during damage calculation only. This is great for it's it's a bit of a reverse metal morph. It will do surprise defense damage to your opponent and it combos with number four, Desert Protector. Desert Protector is an earth insect. This, game, this card gains 300 defense for each spell and trap card on the field. If an insect type monster you control would be destroyed, you can destroy this card instead. Ever since I got faced by an AI using this card, I have been wanting it. Because it is always going to be unexpected. People, you're going to set a face down card. People are going to attack into it thinking that it's the, the, bug, the bug that eats men or a Yomi ship and they're going to get a face full of Desert Protector, defense position, life point damage instead. So if there are four spells and traps on the field, it has 2200 defense. If there are six spells and traps on the field, it has 2800 defense. And if it is a, so they attack into it, they attack into it face down, it's not destroyed, they take life point damage, and then they summon a bigger monster, they attack into it again, and then you pop Spike Shield with Chain, potentially for the win, because Spike Shield with Chain gives you 500 attack, and then this has 800 attack, and Spike Shield says it gains defense equal to its attack. So it's 2200 plus 1300, it's 3500 defense, nigh impregnable. Number three, Numbing Grub. I think that this is going to make the Ojama Lockdown combo more accessible. So before, you just had to hope that you lucked into three of the different types of Ojamas, uh, yellow, green, and black. Now, you can just have two of any Ojama and summon Ojama Knight, then normal summon this card and, and lock down, and Ojama Knight locks down two monster zones, and this will lock down the third one. So that'll be cool, and also I think that this has potential for farming decks. Number two is Demotion. So simple. A normal rarity card, an equipped spell, downgrade the monster equipped with this card by two levels. How can we use this card? How could we possibly use this card? Well, there's three ways. Uh, the first is Amulet Ambition. I know my head is, is, is covering it, but you equip only to a normal monster. If it battles a monster with a higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack times the difference in levels during the battle only. So, if you equip this Demotion to a 4-star 1900 attack point beater, such as, uh, I believe, Archfiend Soldier. Now, Archfiend Soldier gains 500 attack per level that the monster it's battling exceeds it. So, Archfiend Soldier has is 4 stars, has 1900 attack. It battles a Blue Eyes with 3000 attack. Blue Eyes has 8 stars, so Archfiend Soldier gains 2000 attack. Uh, a 3,900 attack point monster, uh, pr and and it's as many cards as you need to summon a blue eyes normally. The it also combos with League of Uniform Nomenclature. You summon your Archfiend Soldier, you equip it with Demotion, and then you pop League of Uniform no Nomenclature, and you can summon the other two Archfiend Soldiers from your deck, and the best one, Wetlands. You can. Equip this to your Hammer Shark or your Umi no Taurus. I believe those have 1700 attack points. And then now, suddenly they gain the 1200 attack point bonus from Wetland. So that's also 2900 attack. And number one, Winged Rhinos. It's a R rarity, Beast Warrior, 1800 attack points. Its effect reads, during either player's turn, when a trap card is activated, except during the damage step, you can return this face-up card from the field to the hand. Why is this number one? Believe it or not, the reason is another pineapple. Pineapple Blast! 
Uh, uh, another R rarity card from the Valkyries Rage Pack. When you normal summon a monster, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, destroy your opponent's monsters so that your opponent controls the same number of monsters as you. Your opponent chooses which of their monsters are destroyed. It doesn't matter what they choose, because Winged Rhinos returns to the hand. So, you set your Pineapple Blast, then on your next turn, you normal summon Winged Rhinos. Then, you are allowed to activate Pineapple Blast. Winged Rhinos effect lets you return it to the hand and you board wipe all of your opponent's monsters. And you watch them rage quit with a smile on your face. So I hope that this list has perhaps encouraged you to reconsider resetting the box after you get your first ultra rare or super rare because there are some good rare and normal cards to be had. Thank you for watching.